Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers and thank you for joining us for part two of the Overland Railway service from Melbourne to Adelaide. Now just for a quick recap, uh, the Overland originated as the Intercolonial Express when the Victorian Railway's Western Line was extended to join the South Australian Railway Line at Serviston on the state border as both railways were 1600 millimetres or 5 foot 3 inches broad gauge. A through service commenced on the 19th of January 1887 using jointly owned rolling stock. Continuing with our timeline from our part one, in 1995 following the construction of a new standard gauge rail between Melbourne and Adelaide, the Overland no longer travels on the broad gauge tracks and runs on the standard gauge which is 1435 millimetres or 4 foot 8.49 inches. The route of travel takes a more southerly one via North Shore Geelong in lieu of Ballarat as it did in the past. In 1997 saw the service privatised and run by Great Southern Railway out of Adelaide and in 2007 only a daylight train service was available. The Overland leaves Adelaide every Sunday at 7.45 a.m. and every Thursday at 6.55 a.m. Then from Melbourne it leaves on a Monday and a Friday at 8.05 a.m. Thus you have two trips to Melbourne and two trips to Adelaide per week. So here we are approaching Horsham. Horsham is a regional city in the Wimmera region of Western Victoria and is located on a bend in the Wimmera River. Horsham is approximately 300 kilometres or 190 miles northwest of the state capital, Melbourne. Horsham is a name of two parts, both Anglo-Saxon in origin, Hors meaning horse and ham meaning homestead or enclosure. Thus, Horsham is literally meaning a place of horses. In early times, the area was known to have been used by herdsmen from the more southerly manor for grazing livestock. Also, for a little bit of trivia, Portia de Rossi, born Amanda Rogers, who is an actress, is married to Ellen DeGeneres, who came from Horsham.
continuing with the journey, we head off now to Dimbula. Dimbula is a town in the Shire of Hindmarsh in the Wimmera region of Western Victoria, 334 kilometres northwest of Melbourne. The name Dimbula has generally been accepted to have come from the Sinhalese word Dimbula, meaning land of figs. Noteworthy trivia, paintings from Dimbula landscapes by noted Australian painter Sidney Nolan were stationed in the area while on army duty in World War II and can be found in the National Gallery of Victoria. We have now crossed the Victorian South Australian border and we're at Border Town. Border Town, formerly Border Town, spelt with two words, is a town and locality in the Australian state of South Australia and located in the state's east near the state border with Victoria, about 250 kilometres or 160 miles east of the state capital of Adelaide. It is where the Dukes Highway and the railway line crossed the Tetiara Creek between Adelaide and Melbourne. The district's economy is based primarily on agriculture with cereal crops and livestock farming. The largest single employer is the JBS Meatworks Abattoir, which processes up to 8,000 animals per day and employs around 470 people. Border Town is also famous for its white kangaroos, which have been bred for zoos and animal shelters around Australia. Border Town is also the birthplace of former Prime Minister of Australia, Bob Hawke.
So here we are crossing on the Murray Bridge over the Murray River. And a little bit further up is the township of Murray Bridge. Now, just a little bit of uh, information for you. This is the actual exit point for the Murray River. Murray Bridge, formerly Mobilong, and Edwards Crossing is a city in the Australian state of South Australia and it's located 78 kilometres or 48 miles east to southeast of the state's capital city, Adelaide. The city is also called Pombarak by the traditional owners of the land, the Nungurindjuri people. And I do apologise if I haven't pronounced it correctly. It was later known as Mobilong and later as Edwards Crossing as I mentioned before being renamed as Murray's Bridge in 1924 for obvious reasons. The city services a farming area including dairy, pigs, chickens, cereal crops and vegetables. Notable residents from Murray Bridge include David Gopulil, an indigenous Australian actor and known for his performances in Walkabout, Storm Boy, Crocodile Dundee, Rabbit Proof Fence, and The Tracker. Also, Albie Mangles, who was an Australian adventurer and had films uh, called World Safari Adventure. And finally, Simon Overland, the Chief Commissioner of Victoria Police, an ex-Australian Federal Police, and a former CEO for the city of Whittlesea in Victoria. There's also quite a number of football players and sporting personalities that have come from this area. So we have arrived after approximately 828 kilometers and 10 hours, we've arrived at the Adelaide Parks Terminal, the final destination.
So here we are, just about at the end of this little journey and this video, and I probably haven't really made any mention whatsoever why I came to Adelaide. But basically, my son, who's got his license now, he's 17, just about 18, has always liked vintage four-wheel drive vehicles. So I've decided to come to Adelaide. I've found that the cars are a little bit cheaper here, and his sort of ideal car is a classic Nissan Patrol, a 92 model that we're able to find. So we're going to buy it and I'm going to drive it back for him. Um, he's not 100% sure if I still will buy it. I've just come to have a look, but um, you'll find out probably in the next video at my next stop whether or not I bought the Nissan Patrol for him. And if you did like this video, by all means, give us that thumbs up hit that like key and please subscribe. Subscribe doesn't cost you one cent and it really helps out the channel immensely. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe and have a great day.